Hi everybody! So I have been tagged by Peter from Peter Likes Books, I'll leave his channel down below, to do the 25 non-bookish things about you. I've also been tagged to do the 25 bookish facts about you, so I'll film that in a couple of weeks and upload it just so there's a bit of space in between the two. This might be sort of a long video, I'm not really sure, so you know, grab some snack, grab a cup of tea and let's get started! Number one is that my favourite colour is green. I would probably say that pastel green is my favourite, but any green will do. Any green will do. Number two is that I have a brother and he is four years older than me and I am born on the 29th of September and he is born on the 27th of September. He was born very very close to midnight on the 27th and I was born very close just after midnight on the 29th so we're actually only a couple of minutes off being born on exactly the same day even though we're born four years apart. Number three is that I have three cats. I have a brother and a sister who are ten years old and they're called Black Jack but we just call him Jack and Ebony and they're both black cats and we have the younger one who's called Oscar and he's three and he's a lovely little ginger cat. So number four is that I am a competitive dancer. I've been competing and dancing for I think 14 years this year um, and I've been dancing for 17 years and in that I have won all sorts of different championships, UK, world, European and I actually own about 500 trophies and the biggest one that I own is this one. Just, yep, just keeps, just keeps going. <laughs> that just swept the ceiling. Uh, this is about four and a half foot tall and this is my favourite and the biggest trophy that I've ever won. Yep, <laughs> it's gonna fall over one sec. So number five is that I studied acting at drama school at a place called Birmingham School of Acting for a year and I decided to give it up and go to uni a bit closer to home and do creative writing and film studies although I'm really missing acting so I'm thinking about auditioning again at drama schools this year because I was really close last year to getting in a couple but I decided to give it up. So I think I'm going to go back to that so uh, we'll see in a year's time how I've got on from this video. Number six is I currently work part time at a Victorian living museum which means that I get to dress up as a Victorian. I work in a 19th century sweet shop and a bakery and also a greengrocer's and a turn of the 20th century English pub and uh, it's absolutely brilliant, it's one of the best jobs, it's history and costume and acting all mixed up together and it never feels like a job. But number seven is that I actually have a couple of really weird phobias. Um, the first one is that I have triple or tripophobia, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, um, which is the fear or di finding discomfort in um, holes and clusters of holes. So like uh, honeycomb and speakers and lotus flowers and frog spawn and just just thinking about it like freaks me out so bad and the other thing that i'm really freaked out by is nutella um, i absolutely hate everything about it the smell the taste it disgusts me so much and the jar and just how oh uh, i just hate it that's the weirdest one definitely but I, I really really don't like it number eight is the first time i ever got drunk i was 14 years old and i passed out tried to eat a slug off the floor and vomited up cigarette butts so yeah I'm probably not planning on doing that again. I definitely left my binge drinking preteen years behind me and I now pretty much represent a 75 year old woman and I'm perfectly happy with that. I'm a proud old lady. Number nine is that I am a completely self-taught photographer. I've been doing photography for three years. Um, I've done a few weddings. I mainly do dance photography. I do photo shoots all outside because I really like the realistic look of the outdoors and the woods especially. Um, I have a Facebook page called RW Photography. I'll link it down below if anyone's interested. In so number 10 is my favourite play in the entire world is The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde and it's just the best play ever and I've seen it about six times and every time I see it I just fall in love with it even more. It's such a wonderful play. If you've never seen it definitely go and see it or read the play. It's a great play. It says so much about society and the turn of the 20th century and oh my god it's just so good. <laughs> Number 11 is that I am really really into makeup. I basically spend all of my student loan and my hard earned money on makeup. And I have these things I call the drawers of shame, which one contains all of my foundations and the other contains about 50 or 60 lipsticks. Saying it out loud makes me very uncomfortable, but also sort of proud <laughs> at the same time. Number 12 is that I am a massive film buff. 
I love film so much, obviously studying them at uni helps. Um, my favourite film of all time is easily without a doubt Scream. It is such a good film. I really love horror films but I love Scream because it is so self-aware. It is just fantastic. And my other sort of half jokey answer but half totally serious because I know every single word in the entire script is The School of Rock. I remember watching it when I was about nine and it changed my life. <laughs> Number 13 is I'm that sort of person that when he's asked, so what sort of music are you into? I reply with, I listen to everything. I have been to such a wide variety of concerts. I've been to indie gigs like Code Line and Two Door Cinema Club, which are two of my favourite bands. I've seen the Sex Pistols with some of the original band members in it. I've been to an A Day to Remember concert, which was so good. I've seen Frank Turner, who's quite alternative and rocky. I've seen McFly, Gabriella Atlin, Eliza Doolittle. Like, I've seen all sorts of things, and I'm so happy that I have that in me to have that diverse attitude towards music. Number 14 is my ultimate crush in life and the person that I love more than anything in the world is David Tennant and he was in Richard II, the Shakespeare play at the Barbican in London and I stayed behind the stage door in the pouring rain until about midnight to meet him and he came out and signed my things and I cried all over him and it was the best day of my life. And people tell me that my boyfriend looks a little bit like him which is totally a bonus. Number 15 is that I was raised quite a strict Catholic, but I am pretty much atheist now. Uh, going to Catholic secondary school and primary school was definitely uh, an interesting experience, um, and it's definitely made me the person I am today. Atheist. <laughs> I don't worry too much about religion really in my life. Number 16 is my favourite food in the entire world is walnut cake. If you buy me walnut cake, I am your best friend. It's so hard to find these days, but it is just the best thing ever. Number 17 is that I can play ukulele, although I haven't played in a couple of years because I got rid of my old ukulele, which is a shame, and I can play basic guitar and piano. Number 18 is when I was in year two, so about seven or eight years old. Um, I came second in a national poetry competition and won £50 um, for my school and £50 for me and that came in a WH Smith gift voucher which was very exciting when you're an eight year old um, and I had written a poem about bangers and mash. I don't remember anything about it but you know, <laughs> pretty good. Also on that note, number 19 is that when I was in year six, so I was 11 years old, um, there was a competition to get a poem based on an emotion published um, in a book of children's poetry and I won that as well and I wrote a poem called What is Love when I was 11 years old. I'll be honest, um, I did think about sort of finding it because I do sort of know where it is in my house but I just don't like to think about it um, but I, I couldn't handle the shame of reading <laughs> what I thought love was as an 11 year old. My god. Number 20 is, although my hair is now red, it's been red for three years, I think. I am a natural blonde, which means these bad boys are a pain in the ass because I have to fill them in and sort them out every single day. I have also been bright pink, dark pink, silver, grey, white, lilac, dark purple, and green. Yeah. The purple was definitely my favourite, but it faded after one wash. Oh, I've also been blue as well. Uh, bright, bright blue. I definitely went through that. You can't tell me what to do parents phase. Yeah. Number 21 is that I am obsessed with buying notebooks. None of these have got anything written in them and I bought them all in the last two months. This is something I am ashamed about. Number 22 is that I can't sleep without some sort of noise going on, so I often listen to podcasts. I know loads of people have made videos recently about podcasts they listen to, but my absolute favourite, hands down without a doubt, is called Answer Me This, and I've never heard anybody talk about it, so if you do listen to it or you want to listen to it, please let me know because it is so good. It is two guys and a girl answering questions and being silly, but they're also really clever. I've been listening to them for about five or six years now, um, and when I was, I think, 16, I went to see the band Owl City. I was in love with Adam Young from Owl City. I knew every single word to every single song. I still do, I'll be honest, guilty pleasure, whatever. And I thought this is the time because I got a little owl and I wanted to throw it on stage with a note telling him how much I loved him because I was a 16 year old embarrassment. Um, and I wrote into them saying, hi, how am I gonna get my owl on stage? And they answered the question and it was the best day of my life. I cried my eyes out and then a couple of weeks ago I listened back to it and I have never cringed so hard in all my life. God, it was so embarrassing. But yeah, definitely go listen to Answer Me This, it's absolutely hilarious. Number 23 is that I actually have a Blue Peter badge and that will probably make more sense if you live in the UK, but it's sort of like a talk show, new show for children and I wrote a letter in um, about my old dance teacher who's unfortunately passed away um, and she turned 80, 
So I decided to write them a letter saying that my dance teacher's 80 and she's still, you know, up and dancing, that's really cool. And they wrote back um, saying, thank you so much, that was really interesting, and here is your Blue Peter badge. And it was such a big deal. I was so cool in the playground for like a week. It's actually on my CV that I have a Blue Peter badge. No joke. Number 24 is that my party trick is the Mexican wave of the tongue and no, I'm not going to show it on camera. Um, in case you ever meet me at a party, I'll do it then. And number 25, my favourite place in the entire world is the South Bank um, in London because it reminds me of going to the National Theatre and being in London with my dad who is my favourite person in the whole world. I, I would live on the South Bank if I could. So that's it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Um, I'm not going to tag anyone specifically because I'm terrified of missing people out, but I might leave some in um, the description. But yeah, if anybody wants to do this, definitely do it because I think it's a really cool way of getting to know booktubers, but their complete other side of books. It's quite interesting listening to how um, they work as people and, and their likes and interests apart from books because, you know, books do take up such a big part of our lives. It's quite nice to see the reverse of that. Until next time, happy reading and I hope you have a lovely week. Bye!